so let us come back and learn the catalytic property of d block elements now basically we already said d block elements what why do, why do we call d block because the electron enters into your n minus 1 d subshell as well as ns right now when the electron every time keeps adding to this d block element it's going to show variable oxidation state isn't it it's going to range when i speak about scandium from plus 3 it's going to range till plus 7 also in 3d series so because of this variable oxidation state, this D block elements are going to act as very good catalyst. What is the use? What, how are we linking between catalyst and oxidation state? Let's see. Now when I have to take a D block element, right? So first, what, what is the role of a catalyst? Catalyst is something which is going to speed up the reaction. Correct? It has to uh, or it has to lower that activation energy. Now this is your activation energy. Your catalyst will lower the activation energy and try to form the products. Now, without catalyst, suppose if I take a catalyst lower and if I take a catalyst, it's going to take such long barrier and then form the products. So, first most important thing is your transition metal elements have very, they have active sites on the surface of these metals. So, what is the role of active site? So, this active site, it's going to or it allows the other metal atoms to come and fix into the active sites. When they fix into the active sites, that is indirectly the catalyst, this transition metals, once these other metal atoms come and fix, the activity of that catalyst will become so high that it immediately, it tries to form a complex. It, this forms after forming a complex what does it do it in before reaching now I said this is forming a complex this complex before reaching the activation energy barrier with low EA only it's going to cross the energy barrier and form the products right now now what is this concept now I said <coughs> it's going to form an active site now it has many oxidation state variable that means it can fit any number of atoms into that particular accept that number of atoms and finally form a active catalyst that is what is the concept so this particular list of catalysts given here in your exam they will not ask you nothing they may ask you for one mark question what is Lindler's catalyst or they may ask you what is Oswald what is the catalyst used in Oswald process one mark question but important concept is why do they act as catalyst point number one they have variable oxidation state yes point number two they have active sites because of this variable oxidation state to which they are going to lower the activation energy and you can note all these uh, things catalyst and uh, please uh, memorize it for the exam so before i end that video let us write the variable oxidation state participation of D sub shell presence of active sites and most important lowers activation energy to form products that's it if you write this whole concept of catalyst is easy